in Wolverhampton, we're proud to welcome back Lou, the great litter picker. Lou considers it's important to get into the minds of his opponents. I'm looking here and thinking, why do people chuck the rubbish? I'll tell you why they chuck the rubbish. Because he pulls out their hands, doesn't he, just like that? And they leave it. But not me. I go along and I pick it up. Because I'm going to put that in the bin. That's my job. Today, Lou is joining forces with Steve. Well, I used to work in a lock factory before. It's all gone now. All the work went to Turkey, India, China. I shut the place down. Litter pickers are like robins. They're very territorial. They don't like strangers on their patch. What you're going to realise, Lou, is that I'm in charge today. You can be in charge okay. any time. Okay. I'm in charge today. That's, this is my patch. Yeah, that's not a problem. And you've got to do like it. You'll be all right. I'll look after you. Right. That's what you're going to do. I'm not going to pull rank on you. No, okay. no, no, no. You just do as you're told. Right then, Lou, we'll start down here. OK, OK. Yeah, I'll get the batter. We'll go for you it. You follow me. Okay. What you've got to realise, Louis, I'm an uh, agency worker. Yes, I know you're only an agency worker. But this is the idea, is just pick all the rubbish up. It must be about five years since I've worked down here. Still the same, Lou, yep. still the same. They altered. Come on, Lou, it gets worse as we get down. Yeah, it doesn't matter we can handle it. That's what? why we've got these pickers in their hands. That's right, you've bag. got to. It doesn't matter what they throw at us, we'll get it done. It's a dirty job, and it's got to be done. Well, somebody got to do it. Lou may have the advantage because he thinks deeply about the problem. You know, and I'm telling you now, if people didn't drink, smoke or eat, there'd be no rubbish, because there'd be no people, would there? But there also might be no work for grime fighters. Plod on, Louis, plod on. Yeah. Look at that. Nearly there, Louis. Yes, we're getting there at the end of this street. Our new team are settling down well. That's it, that's finished now. That's one off, another one yep. off the list. Lou and Steve agree on the big issues. When we was young, there's a bit of discipline. Today, there's no discipline at all. No, it's gone. It's gone, hasn't it, completely? You know, we'd have a clip round the ear and God knows what. If our parents see us making it dirty in the street, you're going to clip. Pick it up, pick it up. Pick it up, do that, yeah. Pick it you up. Know, let me go and hold the door and then you can uh, get in. Lou sees himself as more than just a litter picker. That's his good deed of the day. He's an ambassador for Wolverhampton. If you can help people, we help people. It's uh, what life's all about, is helping one another, isn't it, at the end of the day? Back in Wolverhampton, Lou and Steve are still getting in on the act. Where the streets are narrow, we push the barrow. Collecting litter and bottles, bag packets, crisp packets, whatever we've got, we pick up. Lou's clearly in charge. He's got the vision. Steve doesn't like being number two. He likes the work, though. To come outside and to work in the fresh air, you can't beat it. It gets a bit cold these mornings, but once you plod on and have a go, you know, you soon warm up. Come on, Lewis. Well, this brings old memories back of when I was a dad pushing the old pram up the road. You all right, Louis? It's absolutely wonderful. This is a lovely barrow, this is, Steve. Have you had an MOT on this? Not yet, but it's, it's, it's due uh, next month. Yeah. I'd look, the tyres look a bit rough. I'll get in on it. That's, that, that's the Rolls Royce of the barrows, uh, Louis. What about that? Rolls Royce of the barrow. Lou is fairly easy going but some things get his goat. Building materials just left, not cleared up and not taken away. Lou decides on action. Get the gaffer, get the gaffer down here. I want the gaffer. Well, hello? You're the boss man? Yeah, no boss here. No boss here? Yes. All right, then I'll organise the point to come to this house. This can't go on. You can't have bricks and what and that on the pavement. If somebody's coming down here in a wheelchair or a mobility scooter or somebody blind mm. and fall into that, 
It's health and safety. Yeah, We're that's at the end right. of the day, that's you, right. you know that, lads. Right. Right. Oh, no problem. Yeah, he's right, Lou. He's, he's really right. I mean, you can't have that all over the road. If you could just move him inside, right. off, off the path. All right, then. All right, then have a lovely day. All right, thanks, lads. All right. All right. Thank you very much. All right, God Take bless you. All right. Lou is secretly pleased that punishment won't have to be meted out. He's got the gift of the gab and he puts it over nice. And probably, yeah, probably we'll have someone done now. Make it look a bit tidy. All right. Thank you. OK, thank you. Cheers, our kid. He done that like with the goodness of his heart because he, he, is, he takes pride in his job. He takes a lot of pride in it and he's one of the old guard. He knows the difference between right and wrong. It's an health and safety factor, OK? Come on then, Lou, let's carry on. We need grime fighters. They not only want the work, they can enjoy it as well. Because where the streets are narrow, we'll push the wheelbarrow. Crying cuckoos and mussels. And coke cans and fag packets and crisp packets. <laughs> Hello, 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 all right. <laughs>